Well, Joe and Catherine Faye here with Southern Coastal Cooking. Tonight we're going to be doing a baked ziti. A yeah. very simple baked ziti. First off, we're going to boil off some of these, uh, this ziti pasta right yeah. there. And we're going to, it says to boil for 11 to 13 minutes. We're only going to boil it for about 10. 10 okay? Minutes. It'll be real al dente. Mm -hmm. Okay, good deal. Why don't y'all come over here to the pot of water? We're going to pour it in and roll and boil. And I'm going to let it go and cover for about nine minutes and keep yep. stirring. It's stirring. Okay, y'all, there we go. Nine minutes. Y'all, we're about to strain these noodles out. I'm going to let them cool for a few minutes. And then we're going to assemble the baked ziti. All right. What are we about to make? The baked ziti. So now what I have, I've got my favorite marinara. You can do whatever sauce you really like, tomato sauce. But... I like a nice marinara for this. I'm going to stir it around a little bit. Okay. And then. Yep. Thank you, Catherine Faye. We're going to put a little bit of this uh, um, seasoning in there. Yep. If I can get that open. There we go. A little bit of Italian seasoning. Okay. Just to kick it up a little bit. And I've got some of this like Italian uh, style crushed red pepper, things like that. Got that, and I'll go in. And then I've got some fresh basil inside the yard. And we'll just kind of tear that apart and we'll mix that in. Okay? It'll be really beautiful in that sauce. Okay? Just to kind of stir all that in. Let this come to a slight simmer over here. Meanwhile, we'll finish the rest. Got our sauce heated up. Now, first thing we want to do is put a little bit of sauce in the bottom of our pan. I'm just using my lasagna pan for this, okay? Because we're gonna layer it similar to like to lasagna. So, push that sauce around there a little bit. Now I'm gonna go get the macaroni. We'll go get the ziti, y'all. So now we are putting the ziti in here. Just gonna push it out of this pan. I had to let it cool off, okay? Push that in there. We'll yep. stir it around. All right. You're gonna stir it around. Press it in there. This is two pounds of ziti that we have used. Woo! <laughs> Man. Mm -hmm. Gotta keep this stove clean, y'all. Mommy will get real mad, right, Catherine Faye? Yeah. Mommy will get super mad. Yeah. So we're gonna just toss this around here in this sauce. Let everything get all nice and yummy. All right, y'all, so let's put this bad boy together. Yep. Come on over here, Catherine Faye. All right, what we're going to do, you ready? Yep, ready. All right, so we're going to take this. Noodles. Noodles, yes, and we're going to put these you. on this bottom layer. I'm, I'm... Make a bottom layer of noodles here in the dish. Dish. Here's a dish. Right on top of that sauce. I did put a little olive oil in there. That'll help make sure it don't stick or anything like that. Okay, but that's what you want to do. Get a good coating there on the bottom. All right. Next thing we want to do, I want to go in with some of this meat. I got some some Italian sausage that I fried up. I just took some regular Italian sausage, kind of balled it up and fried it up. And that's going to be real good in here, y'all. Just gonna kind of break these up just so it won't be these big old balls. This will be perfect. And we kind of pre cook this. And that's what I'm talking about. Let me get that. Put that there. Hold on. I'm gonna do this layer. I'm gonna do a couple more layers in here. And you wanna get your meat in for sure. Now, you don't have to use Italian sausage. A lot of people just use ground beef. Some people even use ground turkey or something like that. Whatever floats your boat. Uh, I would suggest whatever you use is pre-cooked before you put it in there. Definitely want to do that. Okay, so you got that in there. Now I want to put a little bit of this, uh, the ricotta cheese, just dab that over that. Kind of scoop it out as good as I can, just kind of dab with y'all. 
Mm -hmm. So get that there, there. On your side. I wish I had like a some pack one of those things, pastry chefs use, you know, put a I guess icing tube or something for this. But uh, that? this will work right here. So we get this done, then we'll come back. Also got this. I got some mozzarella cheese we'll put over it now. Shredded mozzarella. Some people use fresh mozzarella, that would be good too. So that's really nice right there. All right, now we'll go in. Got some pepperoni. Doing like we're making a pizza. That. Spread that pepperoni out. Some people use some like really nice Italian salamis. You could do that. This is just what I had on hand, y'all. So you could throw some more, you know, bay leaves up in there if you wanted to. Make sure I got enough of the top layer. That'd be good for right there. All right. Now we'll go in with more pasta. All right. And we're just going to layer, layer upon layer with this right here. I'm almost done here at the top layer. We put on some pepperoni. Now we're going to take the mozzarella cheese right over the top. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. There we go. Really gorgeous. Yes. Okay, we're going to pop this in the oven and just let it get all nice and bubbly, y'all. And that's it. That's going to be our baked ziti. Also, I let it bake off in the oven on 375 for about 25 minutes. Let's look at it. What you want to see is it's nice, warm, and bubbly. So I believe it's about there. I'm going to let it go just a couple more minutes. Y'all, so it is rested. It's time to eat. Let's cut into this thing. Let's take a look here. Let's get this nice, good corner piece. Mm. That looks good so far. All right. Look at that. That's piping hot right there. Mmm. All that goodness. I'm gonna have to get a plate over here. Might a little be, be a little messy getting this out of here. That's all right too. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Gotta get a try. Mmm. Man, oh man. I'm gonna try this, y'all. Give me just a second. y'all let's give this a try oh man that sausage all that good cheese on there Ooh, blow a little bit mm, man that's flavor right there oh yeah okay here goes Catherine Faye Okay, that is the baked ziti. Absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. All right, what well, do you want to tell the people? Thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe and in the comments, let us know if you like my video. We'll see you guys later. Bye.